Welcome back everyone to Afterburner 9. We're doing core again today. That's my treat to you. Core Ferno is going to have us burning in the midsection again. This might just be a bonus you're doing at the end of a workout because we know doing sit-ups is not the fast track way to get six pack abs from all my preaching of the past. You know it's full body composition, change, months of dedication, hard work, lifting the bigger weights, full body workouts, sleeping right, eating right. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, get out of here and go back and do my 50 workout program, 120 days minimum it'll take you to get through. And then you can come treat yourself to this cherry on top workout. We're back to core today. It's gonna to be one dumbbell on a mat, 10 exercises to get through. Again, no transitions because it's only 10 minutes. Who does 10 minute workouts really? Unless you're pairing this up with other workouts, that's the plan. Okay, enough rambling. You know the drill, 10 minutes on the clock, 10 second lead in, get your butts on a mat, get a light dumbbell, two pounds to 20 pounds is fine. I'm mic'd up to try to coach along, but I'm gonna suffer as well. I don't do too well in core, so let's see how we do. Meet you on the mat right now. Okay, we're just about to get going here. We have our dumbbell to spice all these moves up, make them way harder. You're coming from some other workouts, you're already warmed up for this, or you know how to warm up your body to get prepped for all these core stability movements. So let's get going. 10 rounds of one minute heading up here, and there's zero transition time. So videos in the name of the moves will pop up but you've done the programming already, so we've been through all these moves, no surprises. Here we go. 10 second lead in, we're starting on our butts for weighted V-sit. And this is gonna be a little baby crunch if you can't hold the V-sit. So even in the V position, this is just chilling, still burns the core. We wanna oof, get into our hollow and back up the V-sit. Get into hollow, back up. Remember that's like the luge position. Staring up over your toes, always keeping the back rounded from the floor, never arching and feeling pain in the low back. And if you can't handle that, we're down taking a break. You can go back to your baby crunch or you can try to hover and just sustain the round in that V position. We're already halfway through. I'm talking way too much. Um, we're just trying to endure. The speed of reps won't matter. You're trying to survive the minute, so slow. Fast, doesn't matter. Remember, time under tension is the secret here. It's still a minute of work no matter which way you see it. <sighs> uh, and I'm not very pro at core movement, so I know I'm gonna be getting my butt kicked. Next move is side plank, snatch. So side plank, get up into side plank, and we're snatching dumbbell high, tapping low, up and down. And on the 30 seconds, we'll flip over and switch side. Whoop. Ah. Last rep. Good. Quick flip for me. And this, we're following the corticerie rule again. I'm working a face up move, a side plank move, and then a face down plank move. So. We're rotating the body round and round as we go. Remember, knees down always makes the side plank position easier. You can go up, you can stack the feet, doesn't matter, do what's comfortable. Okay, tall plank, clear the mat. And torsion we've done before, narrower hands, wider feet. Tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder. Try to stack that weight right over the hands. Don't be back here with your bum in the air. Commit that weight forward. And then we're playing anti-rotation game. So no twisting and dancing around. Your coffee table. Can that coffee table stand up with three legs only? Go nice and slow. You can go real quick. Doesn't matter. Your abs don't know the difference. They're just in the tension game. 12 seconds. Looking ahead to the screen here. On our butts next. For figure eight weight through the legs. And on our butts, I can just sit here. 
This dumbbell is not the best for it. Back into our visa position, through and through like you're dribbling a basketball through the legs. Take a break if you need to. Through, 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 through. And for this one, I'd say just sit up and put your feet down to take a break. Never keep going. If your low back is hurting, that means your abs have fully let go and you're torquing all that force through your spine. You can go quick if it feels better. Kind of helps flush. Yeah. Ooh. Slower. Ooh. Reverse direction. Uh. Uh. Oh. Regret your dumbbell weight choice. Oh, eight seconds. Through, 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 through. Next is side hollow rock. With the weight. So we're in our side rock. Dumbbell hand high. Again, we've done all these moves. So you should at least remember the names of them. Bottom elbow can help. Give you a little push if you need to. Oh, burning. You can stay in a little ball, right? It's all the same to your abs. Extension just gives you way more tension through the midsection. I'm gonna switch sides. Get my mic out of the way. Second hand. The side hollow rock is a, only a 45 degree tilt. If you go to 90, you're gonna be falling over. Get that trans transverse abdominus working. Yeah. Yeah. And you gotta just take that dumbbell for dead weight. Uh, uh, on the ride. Oh, where are we at? Three seconds. Next, two point plank. So let's flip it over. Down into plank position. Okay, I'm gonna hold this dumbbell for dead weight and we're lifting the opposite leg and you're stuck in this two point plank pattern. You don't even need the dumbbell. If you don't want it, you can assist if you need to. I'm trying not to slip off my feet. Nine seconds. Oh, this is awkward. Oh yeah. Uh, switch side. Put the forearm down. Coffin sit up after this. Uh, okay, two point is elbow and toe only. Four point plank is two toes, two elbows. You get that pretty easy. Oh, after this, we're on our backs. <sighs> Come on. Where are we at? Five seconds. Okay, this is the coffin sit up or Dracula sit up. Weights above us, coming straight up like so, and down. That's Dracula waking up out of the coffin, down. Try to roll the spine, roll the spine back down. And this damn dumbbell, we're taking along for the ride. Oh, next round is a rest, I would call it. A kneeling wood chop. Keep up on these sit-ups. Exposes your overhead mobility. Oh, the fact that I'm still talking tells you how low intense this is compared to a burpees. 10 minutes or a kettlebell swing. This is more just ooh, taxing the endurance of your muscles. Not the cardio capacity of the body. Okay, kneeling, facing cam, and we're doing wood shot. Remember, clicking the seatbelt in and extending. So I take the dumbbell, one side, bend at the hip, over, down, over, down. Nice diagonal line, nice and aggressive, tight through the midsection. 30 seconds one side. Switch to grip, next side. Knees can go narrower. A nice little hip hinge, sit the butt back. Way better way to hold a power block. Off the two handles in the back. 
Two more to go. Side plank. Side leg lift. Locked out dumbbell overhead. Side leg lifts. So if you are out of breath, good time to catch your breath. You can keep bottom knee down. Whatever you need. Yeah. Find the balance. Find that stack dumbbell line. Through the upper shoulders into the bottom elbow. Uh, switch side. You can take a peek at where that dumbbell is sitting to make sure it's vertical. Oh, and one last move. Uh, uh, losing the leg. Uh, Where's the beep? On your butts next. Back to our V-sit position. And now we're dumbbell pressing. So any way you can balance, press. If you fall back, you gotta extend the legs. Keep a strong, tight fist. Just put feet down, lean back slightly. If you wanna make this easier, hover the feet to make it tough. Uh, switch side, final 30 seconds. Tight core, don't let your spine do the work. Oh, burning. Ah, oh, the afterburn's kicking in. Uh, final reps. Uh, we did it. Oh, Corferno, a success. You've done that by yourself a million times. Come back to it, see if you can do better, do a heavier weight, get a friend right next to you, spouse right next to you, family member, challenge the neighborhood, get a group going in the garage, whatever it's gotta be, find a way to make fitness work for you. It's a lifetime sentence. I'll see you back for number 10. That'll be the 10th 10 minute video. Then I'm gonna jump up to the 15 minutes and I'll do 10 more of 20 minutes as well. So you got a lot of shorties coming your way. I don't like them, but they're great for finishers if you need it or you don't have much time. Otherwise, get back to my 50 workout program and take the time to go through all those workouts. At the very least, it's an encyclopedia of movement that you need to learn. So see you back next time.